I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to do a chalk talk deep dive on the SSD price problem, right? We know that solid state storage is ideal for solving performance challenges in the enterprise. It has one big problem though in that it's uh, seen as significantly more expensive than the traditional hard drive uh, based system. So what that has led to is a curious, almost fuzzy math approach to justifying the expenditure or investment in solid state storage. And that is typically done via, via a dollar per IOP uh, measurement. The, the advantage of doing that is that you can look and say, okay, that the cost to deliver IOPS is actually cheaper on solid state. And if you have an IOP intensive application, especially one that is directly uh, the faster it goes, produces more revenue, uh, then it's easier to justify a solid state device. But really, the, the real answer is to really bring down the price of solid state storage systems themselves. So let's understand first what is making solid state storage systems so expensive. First, a solid state system isn't just a bunch of memory, right? There is a flash memory component, there is uh, some controller technology. The controller technology is what controls how data is written to the flash memory. The flash memory, of course, is the actual storage itself. And then the next step is to uh, put this into some sort of a system that can be uh, shared or used in a, in a network scenario. So we, as part of the cost, there's a storage system associated with that cost. Then the next step is there's some networking on that storage system. And of course that's how uh, that, that storage system will connect into the storage network and then be accessed by all the hosts. Uh, and then finally there's some software that drives not only this whole stack, but also offers services to the rest of the enterprise. So that if you look at the, the first wave of vendors that have come into the market with uh, solid state appliances, most of them have focused right here on the software. And then they've used sort of off the shelf components here to uh, deliver a system. Now the good news of that is they can get the market very quickly and there's some great innovation in software that does help drive down price, uh, namely uh, compression uh, and or deduplication. Uh, then they'll also do some other stuff sometimes like thin provisioning, uh, cloning, all, all those different sorts of things. And so the, the idea is to get as much mileage as you can out of the flash investment, okay? The challenge though is the flash memory then is created by somebody else. Uh, the controller technology may or may not be created by somebody else. It could be uh, from that same vendor A or it could be a, a, a separate vendor altogether. The storage system is of course created by somebody else. Uh, and the networking uh, is probably created by somebody else embedded into the system or sometimes even an add-on. So that can add to the cost. Well, the, what you end up with here is, is a term that I like to use called margin stacking. So all of these components, each of these vendors, of course, want to make some money on, on delivering the product to the eventual OEM. And so what's left with is the OEM then assembles these components, develops some great software, and delivers that to market. And in the, we've, this is not new. We've seen this in the hard drive industry when we did, just first started seeing hard drive systems come to market. So where the problem, though, is because the comp cost of these components is still pretty high, uh, you don't have the room to play around with down here, and you end up with a, a you know, an expensive solution. Now again, we're seeing uh, these systems being able to be justified in a dollar per IOP perspective, but what if we were able to come up with a way to justify it 
from a dollar per gigabyte perspective. So that way you would get all the performance of flash-based storage without the um, uh, cost. And so that's where we think the change is going to have to happen in the market today is we're going to have to see a tighter integration of this stack and essentially remove as many of these vendors as we possibly can from the uh, process. Uh, if we do that, that will give us a complete uh, tightly integrated solution. We can drive out some of this margin stacking. The other advantage of doing that is then uh, vendors uh, like the sponsor of this video, Skyera, uh, can then take the uh, technology in their controllers and use less expensive flash media. And so what that is is going to be probably uh, more of a consumer level uh, MLC based flash that's already pretty affordable from a price standpoint but now we're going to add some technology that will allow it to be appropriate in the enterprise space and, and specifically that's a whole a bunch of uh, wear leveling and life management techniques uh, compression and deduplication might be some of that uh, you know, more efficient use of the storage, but just driving down the hard cost, uh, better uh, RAID algorithms, or maybe not even RAID, but data protection algorithms down here, so that we can have some redundancy up here, but not the overhead of the traditional RAID. Uh, so all of that will lead to a, a significantly more cost-effective solution. And what we think will happen uh, is that by using these, this type of their own controller technology, they can also move to smaller uh, uh, lithographies. The smaller lithography of the flash, the more cost effective it is. Uh, and then we eventually think that uh, very soon we'll see parity with H uh, hard drive based systems at a dollar per gigabyte level. At that point, you can afford to go buy solid state for the entire enterprise, not have to go through a complex cost justification strategy and just start deploying the fastest storage possible. That wraps it up for this uh, Chalk Talk session. I'm George Crump, lead analyst with Storage Switzerland. Again, I'd like to thank Skyera for sponsoring this video.